You wonder why mom doesn't want to leave me alone for too long because I do stuff like this. This is why she wants people around me. This is this this a regular jar of 30 weight oil. The hole drilled into it and when you put pressure on it, it shoots the oil out when it's flipped upside down. Really quick and easy if you just need oil for lubricant on stuff versus getting a little squeeze gun and everything else. This is a quick solution. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle, just a quick intro here. I'm the 360 gal and this video we're actually going to be doing the roof raise. Uh, um, I have two video formats, one 360 and one regular video. If it's, uh, the thumbnail has this icon on it, it's going to be 360 and if it has this icon right here, it's going to be a standard video easy to tell just when you so the plan is well plan always has been to just centrally locate the jack in the middle of the middle of the roof and start jacking up and everything should go up equally on both sides however as you guys know plans rarely follow through and go as you plan them to go so i put the lubricant on the alignment poles and they still don't go up very easy, so a, a couple taps with a hammer loosens it up as I lift it up. It keeps going up. There's a little nervous laughter there because I know there's a lot of weight above my head. Now it's funny, if I wasn't going to add floor height to this, this would be a perfectly fine height for me to walk around in here. But, actually what is this? This is only a few inches above my head. This is kind of my deciding factor on whether I go two foot six or two foot three or two foot tall. And let's see, how tall is this? Because originally, that's five inches above my head. I was going to go at least a foot above my head for extra space, which would actually fit it. But I must say, this feels pretty good right now, and that's only five inches. So, huh. You may end up trimming those pieces down a little bit. For some reason, I think we're a little off kilter, so we're pulling more up from that side. That or we're stuck somewhere over here. Beat on this more. Okay, fuck. We're all out of alignment now. We can even drop it down if we wanted to. We're stuck on the corner over there. Okay, keep going. You wonder why mom doesn't want to leave me alone for too long? Because I do stuff like this. This is why she wants people around me. I haven't told her I'm doing this today because she doesn't want to know. Um, Art's in there. I'm sure I can holler for him. He might just show up here in a bit, but I want to get this up. I'm tired of waiting on it. Using my stainless steel permit bolts as my lifting bolts too, so I don't mess up the threads. I'm just gonna sit in there and watch this come down when I'm, I'm bringing it down. That is, if I don't get caught on that one corner. There we go. All right. Now we're resting all the weight on that one bolt, about six inches up on the roof raise. Just, oh my god, you scared me. Yeah, it's not scary. Right but we are going back up again, and I can maybe get my 12 foot mark and drop the bolts in. And do the 2 foot mark before the wind starts up. That's my biggest concern right now is the wind. It's not supposed to be windy today, that's supposed to be. Yeah. 
of fun. Yeah. Uh, Do you want me to hang around close and say in case something goes wrong? If you'd like, I'm sure Mom would really appreciate it. Huh? All right. The last time I did it, I didn't have anyone here. Anna was on her way from the Oklahoma City, or Tulsa, and, and I was like, wait until Aaron gets here, and I was like, I wonder if I can do it. All right, I'll hang around, and uh, but you're giving me a ride up the street when you're done. Okay, for uh, where? I'll be right around in case I hear a big... <laughs> feet we're going up a total of two foot six inches the six inches is going to be taken up in insulation so as it sits right now when I'm all done with insulating and everything else this should be about as much headroom as I have I might take three inches off that I'm not quite for sure but uh, that's still out for discussion but that is insane amount of space above your head it also makes it not seem like a van and more like an RV so we will decide once we get there. I already got the pieces cut for two foot six inches. Actually, I'm taking out seven inches of insulation all in all. And in all truth, we're not that much taller than a regular RV because the RV has that air conditioner on top. That's an extra foot and a half. The only thing we're going to have up there is solar panels and a little uh, moving actuator on them. And I haven't decided which way I'm going to go with that one yet. Right now, if we took it in there and added it insulation, the bed would be about that high and everything else. It'll probably end up being one of those conversions that we actually crawl into the driver's seat from above versus level with it, which will be fine because it'll give us room for insulation, batteries, and water tanks in the floor. two foot so if the the floors are full height this is about how high I will be standing in this and everything below that point will have water tanks batteries and just general storage down there and let's see where's that measuring tape and this is probably part of the reason I'm actually going up two foot six inches versus two foot still decisions out still on that but I'm still leaning for two foot six inches is basically by the time I get all the insulation in, I'll have seven feet of insulation. So right now, I'd just be about three inches above my head. So let's see where seven inches at. Seven inches is right at the cut line. So that would be about how tall it would be in here for me by the time insulation and sponge room and everything else. Which actually, that's not that bad. It kind of suck in the bedroom, but. 
and so if you take this and actually take out the thing this is how high it'll actually be in here with everything in here insulated and everything so yeah I'm okay with that height it gives me enough room to put stuff to hang stuff from the ceiling up there and so I have some little things so we're gonna go up it's gonna be actually technically six inches above this uh, when we do it and I actually gotta raise it up another foot beyond this to get the uh, supports in there look at that oh they did so that there's the stuff you can get at AutoZones or 3M makes it it's a uh, adhesive stuff for the sides you can see it there it's on each one of these so they glued the panels on I kind of figured they might have I was going to do the same the other thing is this piece right here is a custom piece I might be able to find a manufacturer that has it huh That'd be nice because then I could just weld in the exact same piece and I was just going to make something that made it work. It'd be nice to find that extruded piece that I could just drop in there. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably just end up throwing a bunch of supports around that, that structure there and make it stronger than what it is. But that's still heat, neither here nor there. But it should give it some strength. we got to go up another foot to get all our alignment things in. I think I am going to be going with six foot or two foot six inches. Man it sure does seem huge doesn't it? But this is still six and a half or nine inches shorter than the bus ever was and overall 13.6 is a semi height so we're at least to what is it 11 foot six inches two and a half feet shorter than what a semi is high so eh. I like this height. I'd like to keep it this height. Mainly because 11 foot's a lot easier to get into places than 11 foot 6 inches. And then I add the solar on top of it and that puts me up probably 11 foot a little bit higher. 11 6. It'll probably put me 3 inches above that. So I'm tempted to cut 3 inches off my overall original plan height of 2 foot 6. That would give me an extra 6 foot inch or 6 inches in here. Um, let's see. That's there. And it'd give me only like three inches of headroom if I go to the full 12 foot. I almost dropped my, put my hand in a dangerous spot. You gotta remember there's only very little holding this roof up right now. But we'll see. That also puts my doors kind of too low to enjoy them like I want to enjoy them so they might be cutting in half and become a utility access door or I might slice them down a little bit lower and make them utility access I don't know yet haven't decided they might even come out all together I like the doors but like I said I might just put a bay window there too and just cut this a little shorter and put a bay window over here that'd be fine but that gives me a lot of light that's like 98 square feet of storage extra on top of what's in the side cabinets and everything and since I do use my storage it would be handy to have so I'm excited very excited Ooh. getting it done oh, I got so much welding work ahead of me also I'm gonna bump up the uh, the temperature on that welding rod these have about uh, I want to say 50% penetration but because the welds are so long they're still holding on these but I want to get the the penetration up so but that was the second weld I did it was kind of a pain in the butt this is the third weld I did it definitely looks like I got better penetration on that one so yeah I'm just gonna pump up the temperature on my weld whenever I weld them together and then I'll have that inner frame piece to help support it too I got I need to cut a few more of those I'll probably only drop them in a few key spots. Main reason is I don't quite know where all my windows are going to go. I'm just going to weld the skin shut and then I'm going to come back and uh, cut the holes out for the windows. It, it adds a little bit more material cost to everything, but all in all, it'll still be good. Ooh, we're still shaky. And we are kind of just up free floating in the air. So, bed platform's probably going to be about here. All the way up with the bed there and by the time I get the floor in here it'll be very 
quick this kind of crawl in toilet will be right over here which actually yeah that I think the uh, raising the roof is the best idea I kind of debated on it and just walked around low but really if you're gonna live in it full-time or travel in it full-time you need to be able to stand up straight you can do the other stuff and people do and they do just fine but for me I just I need to stand up straight and not hurt my back okay Okay. After much consideration and you know, thinking about it, the main reason I didn't want to go high is because I still want to do a uh, four-wheel drive conversion on this. And if I go up that high, I lose a lot of the ability to do four-wheel drive conversion. So I split the difference, and I cut the poles down to two foot, three inches. That should still give me adequate space in here and adequate space outside. I imagine when I put the panels up, it'll add anywhere from three to six inches on the roof on top of that. So it'll still keep me under the 12 foot mark, which is where I want to be. And hopefully once I add more weight in here, I'll actually squeeze the springs down a little bit and take me down even below that. But I just really don't want to go over 12 foot. There's only five times in the bus I ever had to turn around because it's too tall. But I just don't want to deal with it. The big thing is I want to be able to get off the beaten path and if I have over 12 foot it gets really hard to get off the beaten path because no one has an RV that tall so as far as I'm concerned I'll be just as tall as most RVs uh, with the air conditioner on the roof and all that fun jazz. So yeah. Anyhow we're going to go up and get the inserts put in so I need to go up a whole nother foot to be able to get the inserts put in once I get it up in a foot. I have one more safety catch there which will be above three feet overall height and then we'll, we'll be working on bringing it back down with the, the inside pieces in there. And I might cut some more and drop some more inside pieces so I get more rigidity uh, going down the road and once we get that done and those bolted in place we will start the welding and putting back together. I gotta drop some cross braces in here and some ratchet straps to make sure everything's square and uh, good.
And if you guys were paying attention to earlier, you see me walk around with the torch, torching the joints, which is a little odd, but aluminum likes to be warm when you weld it. As you can tell, we are up in the air. We are square within an eighth of an inch. And we're free. And it is now being supported by the supports and the inserts. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell to get future uh, updates for the build out.